Hello my crafty loving friends, welcome to Our Purpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today I have some really fun, easy projects for you today. I'm going to show you how to take just simple things that I got from consignment, Goodwill, flea markets, and show you small changes that you can do to these things that will just look awesome and change them up a little bit and make them something that you'll really love again, especially if it's something from your own home. So just with a few different products, some greenery, maybe some flowers from Dollar Tree, Walmart, Joann's, wherever you want to get them, you can really doll something up really nicely. So I want to show you how I do that, plus a few ways that I kind of fix them up and just set them up to look nice. A couple different ways with each. So I'm going to take you along and show you how easy it is to take these projects, flip them, and make them look like something you'd want in your home. So let's go. So we're going to start with my $4 little wooden house frame that I got from Goodwill. And I'm first going to get that sticker off. They had that on there really, really well. Then I'm going to sand it down a little bit. It's a little bit shiny. That orange stain is very shiny. And I am going to take my stain mixture. This mixture is made up of antique wax, Waverly antique wax, some water, and a very tiny bit of black paint. This I have folk art black paint in here. You could use any kind of black paint, but it takes just a little bit to darken it up. So I'm brushing it all on to darken up this wood and get rid of that orange glow. And I'm wiping it back. So now it has a like a stained uh, old effect on it that looks like it's been around for a while. So now I have this cute little fat bird that I got from Dollar Tree a while ago and I'm taking my flat spray sealer and spraying it on there to get rid of the shininess. It's too shiny to paint on and have it stick well so I sprayed that on there and let it dry and now I am painting my little bird with sunflower from folk art that is the color it's a very light pale yellow it's beautiful color it is from the farmhouse collection that I got and I will put the link down in the description to that collection it comes with six colors uh, farmhouse colors all in one now I did two coats on my little bird then once it was dry I sprayed it with my sealer my clear sealer again and I'm using my wax mixture to go over my bird to distress him some and to darken up the color. I love the yellow but it's not going to go with what I am trying to achieve for this piece of decor. So I brushed it on and then now I am wiping it back, giving it a little rub as I do that and kind of what you call buffing it and it is making it really nice. It's a dull yellow with a brown hue all over it. I think he came out so cute and I love the rustic look of my little bird. Now I'm going to show you how I styled it with this little wooden house. So that was one way to style it. Now I'm going to show you how I style it with some hydrangea little pieces and some greenery. So this is, just gives it a little bit of a different look.
got this awesome basket from a flea market. It's got two holes in it. I don't know if it's a planter or maybe for wine bottles or something like that. But I loved the basket. I love the look of it. And it's just beautiful. It has some little black spots around the top of it. And I wanted to darken up my basket just a little bit. I like the color of it, but I wanted to make it a little bit of a rich, deeper color. So I'm taking my antique wax again and going over the basket with a light brush, not too dark, so that I get highlights of dark and light in my basket. I don't do the middle part, that white part around the middle is uh, birch bark, and I think it's authentic birch bark. I don't believe it's a ribbon. It's actually from a tree. And somebody cut that down and weaved it in there and I think it looks great. So I tried not to get any of the wax on that birch bark. And I'm going to show you how I style this basket. little basket and tin came from, came from a consignment shop originally from Christmas tree shop. The original price was $3.99. I got this for $2 at the consignment shop and I really loved the little wooden basket and the tin but I didn't really like the sunflower sticker on the front of the tin so I wanted to take that off and do something different. So I heated up the sticker hoping that that would release the glue and I'd be able to peel that right off. Usually that works but not with this sticker. This is some industrial strength glue or something or I didn't heat it up enough but that tin gets really hot. So I just took some of my 409 because that's what I grabbed right handy and a Clorox wipe and I let that sit on the sticker for a while and boy that was really satisfying. I was able to peel it right off with my fingers just by scraping it and then I took my Clorox wipe and just wiped the rest of it off and it was like it wasn't even there. So again I'm taking my antique wax and a mixture and I am gonna dab it off my brush just a little bit and I'm going to go over this tin and give it a darker aged look by just brushing this on. And I let it sit for just a couple minutes so that it will kind of dry on places. And then I'll come back with my rag and wipe it back. I don't really wipe, I kind of like tamp it off because I want to leave uh, highlights of black and dark on there along with having the tin come through as well. So it looks kind of aged and uh, distressed. I just kept going over the tin until I was happy with what it looked like. 
So if I tamped it off and then it, if I took off too much with my rag or I wanted it a little darker, I would just go back and put more on there and then just kind of pounce it off. Now this little basket or box or carrier, I didn't really need to do a lot with it, but I decided I wanted to just take a little bit of my dark wax and go over the box a little bit and age it and distress it. That way it would kind of match the tin a little bit. You'd have some black highlights in that along with the tin. I just wiped it back and finished up doing the rest. I got this cute little faux window decor from a consignment shop for five dollars. I like it how it is but we'll make one small change. So I'm not going to do much to this window shape while decor. Uh, just sand it down a little bit, the edges, and make it look a little more distressed. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed these little touch-ups, makeovers, whatever you want to call them. Just trying to show you how easy it is to just do small touches to projects to change them up just a little bit. And uh, I think just adding a little greenery, maybe a little stain, or even a little paint can change something really simply. So with that, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.